kanina. Alright, this are the seniors welcoming all the passengers in this area. They have, and those are the contest area. All right, so it's like it. so beautiful right here, it's so clean. All right, so uh, let's just try to go out. Oh, sorry. All right, Katribo, we are here. We are out here, so uh, we will try to cover. As we go on, all right. As you can see, the, that is the uh, the place wherein we have stayed before earlier. So that's the entrance gate right there. That one, this one. So, ito yung pa yung mga paakyat pa lang. All right. Uh, yung pa yung mga bagahe nila pero yung mga passenger na kaakyat na. So we just gonna go on the roof deck uh, for us to be able to have a good view right here. All right. So this is the roof deck, my dear brothers and sister, Apilo Kachibo. So as you can see right here, there was this so-called uh, 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 front portion of uh, the ship. All right, so here we are just trying to cover the area wherein we have uh, yeah, come up with the ladder and that's it. Okay. Yeah, that one. All right, that's Manila area. All right. And these are the, uh, you know, uh, the freight areas. All right, this is the uh, the right side of the ship, if I'm not mistaken, because the front portion is there. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the other side, in the other wing, because we were able to see already the right side. Okay, let's go on the left side. All right. So, we are approaching the left side. As you can see, there was a ship there. Alright, as you can see. It's so beautiful, right? Oh. So, this, since this is our second time to travel with a ship, we have to enjoy the day, the night of our travel. Alright, that is the front portion where the captain is staying. So, wow. It's a good scene right here. I think those buildings that you can see is part of Binondo area or the Bisoria area. No? Because we are still here right now in fear for. Okay, let's take a look on the left side. You can see all the freight there. Right? The container vans. And this is an old old ship. We don't know really what's what's uh the reason why it was being stay or stay put in there yeah and uh, over there uh, there were so many buildings also later on we'll try to discover which part of uh, Manila, Manila we're gonna first pass through maybe Batangas or Laguna alright so I, I gonna cut this one because it will take uh, so long it's around five minutes already so i have to cut this one so we have to to uh, record it again all right wow yeah uh my dear brothers and sisters my relatives uh earlier i received a call from uh Rodrigo, the father of the captain of the ship 
Captain Ames Joseph Aguilar. So, from the tourist room that I have, they have uh, 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 accommodated me and upgraded my ticket to uh, to a cabin room, and this is the room. So it's a room 205, cabin 205, as they call it. As you can see right here, my dear brother and sister, I'm just alone. No one, nobody here, only me. Uh, supposed to be, uh, we have four bunkers here. One, two, three, four, five, six bunkers. Supposed to be, uh, should be uh, five or four, I mean. Uh, including myself, no? that makes six uh, uh, passengers here. However, uh, they accommodated me and they allow me to use this room, just me alone. And uh, as you can see, I have a very comfortable, I have cabinets here, wherein I could uh, put all my stuff, just me. This is supposed to be for the poor, passengers but then there's no one here except me so we have also this comfort room all right so there's a shower room there it's very nice and yeah of course there's a tissue holder now. and I have a big mirror here wherein you know we could make some you know blocking whatsoever and that's it and uh, I have my TV right here all right, so it was a first class accommodation being given to us by uh, the captain of this uh, ship, uh, Captain Ames Joseph Aguilar, who is my grandson. Uh, when I come here earlier, I never mentioned anything that the captain of, to anyone, to any crew, that the uh, captain of the ship is my grandson. It's just, I'm very low profile. I just try to, you know, uh, to put myself to the place where I supposed to belong. And that is the, uh, the tourist, ordinary tourist uh, room. And then when I have uh, uh, informed in the beta pay that I'm already here, uh, also my cousin that I'm already here and the, on board on the ship, uh, they uh, called out uh, the captain, uh, Captain uh, Aguilar, that I'm here on board with the ship. And then later on, uh, Ney Rodrigo, the father of the captain, called me up that uh, I need to proceed on the front desk because uh, cap the captain is waiting for me. And uh, yeah, and this is really a big surprise. Thank you, thank you so much. It was such a very, you know, unforgettable moment of my life. And uh, this place is so quiet. There was an air condition. And uh, it's good also for my blogging. And I have a beautiful view right here. No, I could see everything here. All right. And for this that happened today, Tonight, I would like to thank God for the guidance and blessings that He gave me in my journey going to my hometown where I was born. For Noka Tribo, thank you so much and God bless you all. Thank you. I'll just give you an update if the ship will leave and make some uh, blogs in relation to our travel, adventure, going to our hometown. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Ciao.